Hello guys, today we are going to be talking about a new product that integrates with Microsoft Teams called TeamFlect. Now, if you're looking for some sort of product that will be inside of Microsoft Teams and help you manage your internal team, such as our goals, department goals, your personal goals, meetings, tasks, employee reviews, and so much more, this product is going to be the product for you. So let's get into it. I wanted to come on here and share it with you guys. So maybe if you guys are looking for something like that, that um, you can try to use TeamFlect and integrate it with your Microsoft Teams. So without further ado, let me show you a little bit about TeamFlect. Here I am on the home page. On this home page, it shares a little bit about each one of these tabs on the left. But I'm gonna walk you through what each one of these tabs are. You've got goals, meetings, tasks, reviews, surveys, feedback, recognitions, and notes. And then you've got a user search, which I'll explain in a little bit. Now, first I wanna talk about goals. This is something that I found very helpful because goals and tasks are different. If you click onto goals, you can create a new goal just by clicking this box in the top right corner. When you click and create a goal, you can choose if you want it to be an individual, department, company, or self-development goal. So goals are different than tasks. They're bigger, they're broader, they're going to be probably drawn out a little bit longer than a task would be. I love how they have this inside TeamFlex because our team has been able to use it by creating these quarterly goals inside here and then tasks that are having to do with these main big goals. Now, Inside here, you can do a lot. You can change how you wanna measure the goal. So you can change it to um, currency, to a different kind of value. And you can also do a percent and you can say when it starts and when it ends. You can also connect it to another goal. So if there, you know, if there's a parent goal that has little goals underneath it that are connected to it, you can choose the start and end time. You can also show the visibility of it. So you can choose if it's public, public with comments or private, and then you can create that goal. Now at the top here, you've got different tabs, so you can see, so you can see the different departments. Um, you can also see the different teams inside of here. And you can create departments for your company inside Microsoft, which I think is really cool. And these can be tied to the goals. I love this because when you click down here, see how I am connected to the marketing department, but I don't see the other departments because I'm not a part of it. I love that because it's separated. You can have your teams connected while also still keeping the people separate from things that they don't need to see. So. Again, like how I said previously, goals are different than tasks. So when you click on tasks, you're going to see this list of the different tasks that you have to do. And something that I find is very cool is this does connect with tasks by planner. So you can create your own team flect list. So when you go back to your main task by planner, you've got this team flect task here that is connected and the same as the one that you see inside team flect. Now, Personally, what we've been using this for inside of our team is, you know, we've got these department goals that are main big quarter goals. And then we've got these different tasks that have to do with the departments underneath that. Then if you have any personal um, tasks that you'd like to do throughout the day and keep track of daily, you would use Task by Planner for those things. So that's how we've been using it, but obviously you can build it out however you see fit for your team. So goals, tasks, different, um, but both useful. Then you've got the meeting section. Now here's something that I want to really stress to you guys is the amount that I've been using this feature is I, I now I can't imagine doing my day-to-day -day work day like without this. So it's been so useful for me. It keeps track of your internal meetings. If you guys are like our team, we talk about a lot of stuff, cover a lot of things inside our meetings. This has been so useful for me because all you have to do is go into this meetings tab, 
click on the meeting that you want to create the talking points for. So, so let's say I'm going into me and Bobby's sales meeting and I wanna talk about a few things and prepare before it happens. You've got this area called talking points. I can create as many talking points as I'd like inside, inside here. So let me create just a few to show you what it looks like. Okay, so here I've created three different talking points that we can go over inside of the meeting. Now you've got here a lock button, which will hide this talking point from others. So if you want one that's just personal to you that you don't want the other people in the meeting seeing, then you've got this button here that has a little circle arrow. This will repeat um, this during every meeting in this series. So notice that this is a reoccurring meeting. So over here to the left, it says every day that we're going to have this meeting at this time. So this has been really helpful for our leadership meetings that we have once a week um, to keep those reoccurring talking points here and happening. Then when you click, you can drag to um, put it in a certain order of what you want to talk about. Then underneath these talking points, you've got attachments, tasks, feedback, and recognitions, which we'll talk about feedback and recognitions in a little bit. And then you've also got shared notes and private notes, which I think is very helpful when you're inside a meeting. Speaking of inside a meeting, if you're wondering, the answer is yes, all of these things you can access while you're in the meeting. So you're going to add this app inside the Microsoft Teams meeting when you're in there and everybody can see the um, public talking points as well as any attachments, tasks, feedback, and recognitions that you put on here. You can also join the meeting from right here. You can send the meeting link to a person who is a part of the meeting. Maybe they lost it somewhere and need it again. You can also copy the meeting to share it with somebody else. But one of my favorite features is you can send an email summary of the meeting. So when you click on this button, what it does is it sends an email to the people that you select of everything that you talked about and still need to talk about inside of the meeting. I think this is so useful. I mean, we've been using it internally and I've loved using it because it helps us stay on task and keeping track of everything that's going on inside meetings. If you have any more questions about any of these that I'm talking about as well, please make sure to comment down below while you're watching this video and I'll be happy to help you answer as much as I can. So that is the meetings tab. Then you've got the reviews. Now, this is something that we've been slowly rolling out um, this past month with our team. You can do employee reviews on here and use it to keep track of your employees, how they're doing. Um, you can track their tasks, what they're getting done, what they're not getting done, if they have any recognitions or um, positive feedback from the team and whatnot. Um, and you can create your own templates um, inside of here that you can pull from anytime you have an employee review. This has been super helpful for us as we're going into our employee review season. So all you would have to do is click new review and you would say a new review for your team. So then you would title it whatever you'd like. Then you can say if you'd like to use a template to customize your templates and create your own, you would just click here. Let's say I wanted to do a, a professional development review. Inside here, it's going to pull up the things that I wanna talk about inside this review. Then you would say who the reviewee is. I only have this demo guy under me, but if you are an owner um, of a team, uh, you would see all of your employees underneath here. Then you would say any notes to, um, to the reviewees, which is optional, of course. Then you can say the period that is under review. So you can say quarters here, um, the whole year. Um, you can also do when they self-reviewed, the reviewees due date, the due date to finalize it. Um, you can go very detailed into all of this and then click create. Once you're done filling everything out, you click create and it's going to create the review.
So when you do this, it pulls up all the data that you have in that template. So inside the template, I wanted it to pull the goals. So it's gonna pull the goals from demo guy, which it says that he has no goals right now, but if the goals were here, they'd be right there. Then it's going to ask for the professional development questions from demo guy and me as well. So waiting for my self review. Then under here, once everything is done, it's going to give a result as well as a development goal here that you can fill out as you go along. So something that's cool about that is when you create it, it adds it as a self-development goal. So it adds it to your main goals tab here and you can keep track of that. The moral of the story is this review section is great to keep track of your team's um, quarterly goals, um, development processes, things like that um, internally to make sure that you're on the right track and you're doing a good job. It'll also show on the side here any tasks that were done and completed or not completed during that quarter with your team, as well as feedback and recognitions during the first quarter for your team. So it really helps you visually see how your team is doing, what they think of how they're doing and what you think of how you guys are doing um, to keep you on track. Then you've got surveys. You can request surveys um, from people and you can also create one and survey it yourself. So this is basically, um, it could be for the whole company or a selected user, as well as for your team. So let's say I did it for my team. You could create custom templates for surveys um, and have people answer them. So let's say that I wanted to do an onboarding survey and I wanted the respondent to be demo guy as well and that the due date was due two weeks from now. And you'll say um, demo guys onboarding. Then when I click create, it's going to create the survey. Looks super similar to how the reviews look on here. It's got these questions that it wants um, demos answer, demo guys answer. So what was the most helpful aspect of your onboarding experience? You know, all those things. This is a great tool to help you better understand how your team's doing in certain aspects. Obviously you can create surveys for whatever you feel like is best for your team. I love how they have templates in here so you can just make it customizable to your team. Then you've got feedback. Feedback is super similar to um, like surveys in the sense of getting more of an understanding of your team and what they think. But something that's cool about feedbacks is, is it helps you get recognition for how well somebody's doing. So let's say you wanted to give feedback to somebody on your team, or you could ask for feedback um, from people about yourself. So that's pretty cool because you can get to know maybe how you are doing as far as what your team thinks you're doing. Also, you can really give shout outs to your team if they're doing a good job or maybe if they need some encouragement. Um, you can also create templates just like you could on reviews and surveys. Um, you can create feedback templates as well um, and keep track of them here. Now you've got this tab here that shows what um, I've received, what I've given, um, my self-assessments, as well as my whole team's um, feedback that they have gotten. Next, you've got recognitions. Recognitions are really cool because you can create these badges um, for your team and they can give them out to each other. Um, so like something like this, where Tim just gave one to John, um, who is the team player, Wombat, who spends the majority of his day successfully herding cats. I love that, that's what John does. So, you know, this is Jim just giving John a shout out. I gave one to Jackie that I created personally called Rockstar Status. Our team loves doing this. It really gives people a boost of um, confidence, energy when they're doing good, um, keeping them um, encouraged. Now, last tab is the notes tab. So this notes section is gonna keep track of also like your meeting notes, but it's gonna keep track of your notes on different people um, inside of your company and it will um, connect them to their, their profiles inside of TeamFlex. So when you're doing performance reviews and whatnot, you can see your notes on that employee. So those of you who maybe are bosses or um, part of the leadership team that is watching this, this is super helpful for employee reviews 
and keeping track of your notes inside of here. Now I know that I kind of mentioned about the user profiles, but um, if you go to the user search, you can actually search a specific person. So let's say that I wanted to search Jackie and get to see like how she's doing and what's going on in her world. You've got here to where I could message her and video chat her from right here, as well as any notes that I have about Jackie right here, um, files that I have had with her here. Now here I've got also all of our one-on-one -on -one meetings with Jackie. Then underneath here, I've got any um, of Jackie's goals that she has that are visible to me um, and how she's doing on them, if she's on track or whatnot, as well as tasks between us, um, reviews with us and surveys, feedback, and recognitions. So basically a really quick way to see um, the activity of each one of your employees um, and keep track of this. Now, depending on the access that you give each one of your users inside of TeamFlex will, def will depend on what they see inside here. So obviously I am an admin right now, so I can see a lot more than maybe a basic user would see inside TeamFlect. Now let's talk about pricing. So the price per user is $0 within 10 users. So if you have 10 people or less in your company, it is completely free for you. Then it goes up to $5 a month if you wanna add more than 10 people onto this service. And you can check out more about this on the TeamFlect website, which I can link down below. Now, the one that I was using to show you guys was um, one of the TeamFlect free licenses. Um, so just know that um, that's what it looks like if you got that. All in all, our team has really enjoyed using TeamFlect. I think the biggest things personally as a company for us that we've liked using it for is keeping track of the meetings and talking points, um, the reviews for our employees and the recognitions. We have really loved those three features um, and using them inside of our company. Uh, if you guys have any questions about TeamFlect, um, make sure to comment down below and I'll be happy to answer any that I may know. Um, and hopefully I'll be creating another video soon to go more in depth about any questions that you guys might have. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video on TeamFlect and I will see you